Hey guys, Adam Katz for the Hardcore Camping Gear channel, the channel where we explore and review the camping gear that you need to be self-contained, self-reliant, and most of all comfortable camping in the outdoors without having to spend tens of thousands of dollars on an expensive RV or travel trailer. If you watched the other video that I did, I'm in the house right now testing out this, this Milliard 4-inch camping cot mat. I wanted to test it inside because I wanted to see Again, if you watch the other video, I talk about this in more detail. I wanted to see if um, the mat would help with the back pain that I was getting from sleeping on this Vira of Maine cot. Uh, when I was outside uh, with the tent and using the cot, I was getting some back pain. So anyways, I figured I'd set it up with the Milliard 4-inch mat to see if it was more comfortable. What was more comfortable, and I'll get to that in you know the other video, but because we're inside, we normally sleep in the bedroom here uh, overnight with the temperature set at about 60 degrees uh, during winter. So 60 degrees and with our, our bed, we have a couple of goose down comforters and a couple of thin wool blankets and then uh, uh, regular bed sheets and I think one thin fleece, uh, fleece blanket. So we stay pretty warm even though it's 60 degrees. While I was testing this cot and the milliard uh, pad, I figured I'd just run down in the basement of Doom and grab a 40 degree rated uh, Coleman sleeping bag. And this was a sleeping bag that we bought several years ago. We were in Sedona, Arizona during, I can't remember, I wanna say like late spring, and we had heavier winter bags and it was just too hot. So we went to Walmart, we grabbed a couple of summer bags and so I figured just for this test, just overnight, because it's only going to be 60 degrees and it's in the house, in the house, you know, what's the worst case could happen? So I grabbed this 40 degree rated bag, this, hold that up there. <clears throat> and I thought that should be fine. Um, I was not freezing cold, but I wasn't warm either. I mean, I wasn't to the point where I would say I would be comfortable with this 40 degree rated bag if it had been 10 degrees colder than it was. If it had been 50 degrees, I would have been really pretty cold and uncomfortable. And so if you're new to camping, <clears throat> and you don't know this, because I didn't know this in the beginning when I first got into camping either, <clears throat> when you buy a rated bag, typically these, these sleeping bag manufacturers, they're not completely honest because that published number, that 40 degrees, that's the survival rating. It's not the comfort rating. So when you're out buying a sleeping bag, you want to make sure that the, the degree rating that is stated on the bag that you're buying it for is the comfort rating, not just the survival rating. Because you may survive in this bag at 40 degrees, but you are not going to be comfortable. You are absolutely not. And so typically I err on the side of going up by 20 degrees. So if I know I'm going to be in 60 degree weather like I was last night here in the bedroom in the love nest, uh, I would grab a 40 degree bag. But this bag in particular, I was not particularly warm. So uh, I'm gonna test this mat again. I'm gonna test it actually on the floor for another video, uh, but I won't be using this bag. I'm, bag. I'm gonna be using a bag that is rated maybe for 20 degrees. So anyways, I wanted to just kind of share that with you just in case you are new to camping and you're not familiar with the uh, comfort and survival ratings for sleeping bags always be skeptical always test your gear in your house in your backyard or somewhere close to home before you go out and you rely on it because had i taken this outside even during you know during let's say late spring early summer uh expecting that it was going to be 40 degrees outside and the sleeping bag was rated at 40 degrees i would have had an absolutely miserable time and remember you know, this is a recreational activity, or maybe it's not. Maybe you have to rely on your sleeping bag because, you know, you're living out of your car or your van or who knows what. You're just out hunting um, and you're expecting it to keep you warm and it doesn't. So, hey, thanks so much for watching. If you don't mind, hit the subscribe button, uh, like, share, comment, and hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified uh, when we come out with more videos like this to help you become more self-contained, self-reliant, and comfortable camping in the outdoors. I'm Adam Katz for HardcoreCampingGear.com. We'll talk to you soon, guys.